the uh interrupting chicken and the elephant of surprise by David is a stand. It was after school for a little red chicken. Well, chicken said, Papa, did you have a good day at school? Yes, Papa. And today my teacher told us every story has an elephant or surprise. So let's read a story and we will find the, find the elephant. Chicken, she wasn't talking about an elephant. She was talking about an elephant or surprise. What's an elephant of surprise? It's so powerful a story that makes you say, Wow, I didn't know that was going to happen, said Papa. An elephant in a story in a story always makes me say, Wow, so please let's read the story together. Alright, fine. But I don't expect your you will find any elephants in this story. The ugly, the ugly duckling. After a long, lonely winter in the cave, the ugly duckling was growing desperate. I don't care if they tear me to pieces. I must be near those glorious creatures for just one moment he said as he flung himself toward the flock of swans to his amazement the graceful birds did not attack or tease him but seemed to accept him as one of their own he peered into the water at his reflection gasped and said Surprise! I'm an elephant! Thank you for finding me. No problem! We learned about you in school! Chicken, there are no elephants in the ugly duckling. Every good story has one. That's my, what my teacher said. That's ridiculous. Is the ugly duckling a good story? Well, yes, but... Then you must have an elephant or surprise. Let's try, let's try another book. Rapunzel Enchanted by Rapunzel's beautiful scene, the prince drew near the tower. He had waited for this night. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, he called. Let down your hair. Suddenly, a braid of Rapunzel's hair slid down a tower wall. Come to me, my prince, called Medea's voice above with all haste. The prince began to climb. When he reached Rapunzel, he gazed at his love, and she said, Surprise, I'm an elephant. You've done it again. You're welcome. Chicken, I know there's no elephant in Rapunzel. That is just plain ludicrous. Don't you feel sorry for the elephant, Papa? All along waiting for someone to find him? Read another story and we'll find that poor elephant. Chicken lives is silly. It's my home where Miss Gizza said to read three books and find the elephant in all of them. Okay, Papa said. Here comes the nice story with no elephants. The Little Mermaid. Already the mermaid could feel the sea witch's potion working. Soon with her new legs, she, she would dance she would dance with the prince and he would fall in love with her as she crawled out of the waist a sharp pain passed through her she fell to the steps of the palace and knew only darkness when she awoke the prince himself was standing over her in the moonlight she saw that her wish had come true she finally did have legs Elephant legs! Wow! That was a surprise I know!